What's going on guys, Sean Gattier back with another video. I got my man Jason in the chair. You guys may recognize him. I cut him a while back. He had a top knot and we did a mid fade on the sides. But today we're gonna give him a high taper and clean up this kind of awkward spot behind the ear. Had a little gap between clients, so I thought I'd get him together. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna start off by taking a hair gripper. You guys see, I'm just gonna pull it up and get all the long hair. And I wanna let most of that short hair fall out so that we can clean up that side. I'm gonna go ahead and start my ball guideline from the bottom of his vertical bar to the top of the ear. We'll go ahead and bald all that out, come in with the shaver and clean it all the way up down the skin, and then we can start our taper. Now we're gonna come in with our Stylecraft Rebel and we're gonna go up about a half an inch. We're gonna keep this pretty tight, guys. We don't have a lot of room to work. So we have the lever all the way open. We're going up a half an inch to set our first guideline and then we can start to work that guideline out from the bottom. So we're gonna use clipper closed at the bottom of the section, halfway open in the middle of the section. And of course, guys, we set the guideline in with the clipper all the way open. come in with the one guard all the way open we're gonna go up another half inch now we're really flicking out here you guys can see we don't have a lot of room so we want to affect the hair above the open section and try to leave a little bit lighter of a guideline so not necessarily leaving a harsh guideline that we can see and then we can start to blend the rest of this together so we're gonna come in with a one and a half after the open one and we're just trying to connect to that length that's above that now we can start to take that last guideline out. So we're gonna come in with a one guard all the way closed and we're flicking through that line. We understand that we're gonna to have to use a half guard to get the line all the way out, but we're gonna work with the one guard closed to soften that line up. And then we can come in with the half guard and clean up anything that's left behind. Now the half guard is halfway open guys and you can see I'm using the corner of the blade. So we're not using the whole blade. We just wanna go after any of the dark spots that we see and then we can move on. Now we're gonna reset the hair gripper, guys. I wanna clean up some of this weird hair that's behind the ear, so I'm gonna take it a little bit higher. You guys can see an obvious separation there. Go ahead and brush all this length down, and now we're gonna come in with a number three closed, and we're just trying to lighten that up. We do wanna leave something for that curl to sit on, but I don't want that transition down to my taper to look so bad. So we're coming in with a three guard closed and just trying to clean up that transition. Now I'm back in with a one and a half, guys. I just saw a little bit of a dark spot that I didn't like, so we're just gonna clean that up, and then we can move on. Now I wanna be able to get a nice sharp line around the ear, so I'm taking a number three closed and I'm flicking into that curl. We just wanna get basically the lineup area cut down to a three so that we can get it lined up nice and sharp and go ahead and connect to that curl that's above there. Like I said, guys, we kinda of wanna leave that curl in that length so that the top has something to sit on. Now I wasn't sure if he was rocking a front edge up or not, and you guys can see with the hair pulled up, he is leaving the entire front lineup natural and curled up into the top. So we're just gonna edge up the vertical bar, and you guys can see he has a pretty light vertical bar, so we are gonna come in and do some enhancements in a minute. We're just gonna edge this up, and then we can move on. Moving on to the back tape, we're gonna do the same exact steps. We're gonna start off with our Slimline Pros. We're gonna punch our guideline in straight across. We'll go ahead and bald out everything underneath there, come in with the shaver, and then we can start our steps of the taper. So next step, same as the size, we're gonna come in with the lever all the way open on the Rebels. We're gonna go up about three quarters of an inch and set our first guideline. Now 
Now we can start to remove our bottom guideline. So we're gonna come in with the clipper closed and you can see we're just gonna bump that line up. Then we'll open the clipper up halfway and bump that line up a little bit further. After that, if we see any dark spots that we don't like, we can play with the lever, starting with the lever all the way open. Using the corner of the clipper, we'll go after any dark spots until we're happy with this transition. Next up, we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way open and we're gonna go up another half inch to three quarters of an inch, setting our guideline. And just like on the sides, guys, we are gonna flick out, as you can see. We wanna leave a little bit of a softer guideline so it's easier to connect to that hair above it. Now we're gonna close the one guard up and we're gonna to start to clean that line up. So we wanna go through that line, but right underneath where we did the one guard open. And again, guys, we know that we're gonna need that half guard to take the line all the way out. So we have to work right above where the line is, knowing that the half guard is gonna be used on the line. Now we're in with the half guard halfway open guys, just using the corner of the clipper to take out anything that's dark between the open section and the one guard closed. Now we're gonna come in with a number two all the way closed and we're gonna flick into that length above there, just like we did on the sides. We just wanna flick into it. We don't wanna see a guideline. We're just trying to soften up that line above the one open. Again, knowing that the one and a half is what's gonna take that line all the way out. So we just wanna to connect to the dark hair up above. And last but not least, guys, we are in with the one and a half halfway open. That is the sweet spot. And we're just taking that last line out between the open one and the closed two. Now that we've worked our way through the steps, I see a little bit of a line I didn't like, so I just came back in with my one guard open. I can close it as needed and clean up those dark spots, and then we can move on. Now we're gonna come in and line up around the ears and down the neck. We're gonna start with the line down the back of the neck, guys. The trimmer is obviously long and straight, so we can get that line super straight just using the straight line of the trimmer. And then as we get to the ear, we will place our middle finger on his cheek and I'm gonna pivot that trimmer around the ear to make a nice smooth circle. Now we just wanna go little by little and get this sharp as we go. We're gonna cut it once, we're gonna brush the hair back down. We will come back through and clean up anything that's hanging over. And guys, with curly hair like this, basically every time you brush it, something else is gonna hang over. So you just wanna go over it two or three times until you're happy with how it looks. And because he has such a slight vertical bar, guys, we are gonna come in and enhance it. So I'm spraying 245 No Drip. This is the Onyx Black. I have the enhancement card next to the vertical bar. We're just gonna spray a couple coats until we think it looks good. And then I'm gonna layer a little bit of fibers on top to make sure that it looks a little bit more natural. Once we do that, we can come in with our trimmer and hit that edge again. And you guys can see that really made that line pop. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. We are on the way to 50K so I can do this crazy barber bundle giveaway. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this finished cut. And if you guys have any content ideas, leave it in the comment section. And if I feature your comment, I will shout you out in the video. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos and I'll catch you guys next time.